Hey, you know what? I uh, uh, wanted to get through the weekend. Um, uh, it's a little bit different for us at this time of the year. We haven't, you know, uh, exhibitions are usually at the beginning of the year. Um, and we wanted to use this opportunity uh, to get some guys some ice time um, that, that haven't played. One, re- You know, um, CJ Cease was healthy. Um, you know, Daniel Brickley was healthy, but wanted to give some guys some other looks. And I thought we had some guys step up. I thought French had a real good game. Um, I think Spooner had a real good game. Um, and I just thought we progressed. You know, first period, I thought we were a little bit sloppy there in the first 10 minutes, um, but got better as the game went on. And uh, it was good to see us win a hockey game at home. Was it your plan to go with Jason the whole night, um, just to give him a, a full game after not having a while and having him ready to go yeah. forward? Yeah, it's been a while since he's been able to play 60. And, you know, Connor's done a real good job. Uh, Jason's been working hard, and I wanted to give him an opportunity to see as many pucks as he could. Did you, um, you know, as far as you know, mixing things up and getting those other guys ready? I mean, is there? A, do you feel like you'll change things up because of what you saw with any of these guys tonight, or is it? You know, do you, how do you assess that? You know what? I, I'm going to let it sink in a little bit. I'll probably rewatch the game. Uh, I need to uh, usually, so I like to make sure I go back and just not be in an emotional state while I'm watching it and see some of the things we did well and um, you know, try and go on a game-by-game basis. So it was a little different for us tonight too because we you know, we had a lot of guys in the lineup. It's, it's not like we had 12 forwards and six defensemen. Um, so there wasn't a lot of continuity to what was going on. Um, and I thought the guys handled that pretty well. Without CJ and Daniel in the lineup, those are two guys that eat up a lot of minutes. Uh, was the plan to have certain players maybe go into those roles, or was it more of uh, spread out over the the forwards and amongst the defensemen, those two it's guys out of the lineup? Spread out a bit, but I wanted to take a look at Michaela's playing down the middle um, because I think he's, you know, for the future of his game and the future of our team, uh, the stronger you can be down the middle, the more versatile you can be with your lineup. Uh, so I wanted to give him an opportunity to to play in the middle because he hasn't had that opportunity much. Um, and then just put some guys in some spots uh, that they haven't been in. Some guys haven't been in the lineup for a long time. Um, so give them opportunities. And then I thought we distributed the minutes, and I haven't looked at uh, the, the minutes for each guy yet, but I will. Um, and I, but I do believe that that was pretty dis, pretty much evenly distributed throughout the group, whether it was up front or back at the blue line. Got a little feisty there at the end with the U18s. Um, what did you see from uh, over the course of 60 minutes with uh, that team, Mike? Anytime, you know, they're good. You know, the, the, the national program in USA Hockey, um, the proof's in the pudding. They've done a great job at... Uh, preparing players for the next level and you know you look at the roster that they have here those guys are seniors in high school Uh, and you're seeing a special player in Hughes Wallstrom I can go down their lineup we can talk about a lot of guys that um, are going to hear their names called uh, during the NHL draft and you know through the leadership of of uh, Jimmy Johansson and USA Hockey and and what they've done to put uh, hockey in our country at a different place than it was five, ten years ago uh, is is pretty special. Uh, when you see these teams, this team's getting ready to go play over in Russia uh, for the World Championships. And so that's their goal. They go back, and I was talking to um, Seth a little bit and, and Nick, and they're talking about, you know, they go back into USHL play now and, and prepare for the World Championships. And uh, year in and year out, the U.S. teams competing for gold and to see what has transpired not only with the matriculation of our guys going into the NHL uh, but to see how our world junior team does uh, and I just think it's it's on a path that uh, uh, we need to continue to stay with because it's working. What kind of improvement are you seeing out of Connor Mackey right now? He's gets a goal the other night at St. Cloud. He scores tonight uh, on a pretty nice play. You see some progression with him. Yeah, it's great to see him. Uh, you know, sometimes Connor's really hard on himself, and we just have to keep reminding him that he's a 
he's a heck of a hockey player. Uh, his future's bright. Um, he did a lot of things real well tonight. I'm I'm glad to see him have some success. Sometimes in in our game, the puck, you know, if it doesn't find you a lot, you can feel a little unsatisfied as a player. Um, and uh, I thought tonight was one of his better games. He, he you know, for him to hop up into that hole uh, to to score the first one, uh, he can do that a lot more. Um, and so I was really excited about that, his offensive side, but I thought he was real solid defensively too, so it was a pretty complete game by him. That's okay. We'll see. You know, um, we'll see. I think he's probably going to go into concussion protocol and we'll, you know, see where he's at um, day by day. Okay. All right, thanks, Hasty. You bet.